Colonel, you're on. Yeah. Dignitaries on this stage and off this stage, fellow Rotarians, Ans and Anits, a very good afternoon to all of you. After having attended the session on sustainable environment, we are all aware how important the metro rail is. Obvious advantages, cost effective, lesser pollution, commercial spaces creation, and congestion on the roads can be avoided. We can reach the workspaces well in time. Today, we have director projects, metro rails, Mr. T. Archunan, Indian Railway Services engineers with us. And he is going to tell us what is the way forward as far as the metro rail goes. May I request T. Archunan, sir, to kindly come onto the stage. Thank you. Can we have the AV, please? Mr. Archunan T. CMRL. He belongs to 1989 batch of Indian Railways Service of Engineers, IRSE. He worked with railways for about 25 years, including five years deputation with Chennai Metro Rail Limited, CMRL. As the director of project, Chennai Metro Rail Limited. He is in charge of all civil works related to Chennai Metro Phase 1 extension, 9 km and Phase 2, 118 km, involving 42.6 km underground and 76.3 km elevated. Total of three corridors involving 128 numbers of stations. The project is being taken up at a time which is one of the largest projects in India. We are awaiting to hear from the man of action himself about Chennai Metro, the way ahead as he sees it and what we can look forward to the future of public transport. We now request Mr. T. Archanan to come forward for the presentation. Over to you, sir. Uh, good evening to everyone. First of all, on behalf of Chennai Metro, I thank Rotary Chennai District for inviting me. The presentation, what I am going to do is highly technical. So I curtailed most of the slides and I made what is relevant to the audience. So general slides only I am going to present. Before that, why metro is required for a city? Already we have phase one running up to 54 kilometer length. Further we are going to extend 118 kilometer at a time. This is considered as one of the largest project taken up at a time in the world. It is 118 kilometer plus 128 stations with three corridors. Why more metro is required? Just I will say few words, then I will start the slide. The main reason for metro is rapid urbanization. India is facing last two decades rapid urbanization. From 2001, the urbanization was to only 28 percentage. Today, we are already 48 percentage. 2011, it became 37 percentage. Today, we have 48 percentage. It is expected to be 61 percentage in 2031. To meet the demand of the urbanization, we have to develop a lot of urban infrastructure whether smart city or uh, parks, streetscape, smart transportation, intelligent transportation, so many urban infrastructures are being developed. But the most important infrastructure to meet the growing urbanization is urban transport. This way, Chennai Metro phase two becomes more relevant. Within another five years, we are going to transport about 15 to 17 lakh people per day. The present ridership is only 2 lakh. So another five years, when the phase two of Chennai Metro will get completed, the ridership will be 15 to 17 lakh. That time you can imagine the importance of phase two. Moreover, in Chennai, 
the city is expanding very rapidly. From 67 lakh from 2002, today it became nearly 1 crore. It is going to be 1.4 crore in another 10 years. So more and more vehicles, private vehicles, two-wheelers, autos are increasing and the ratio of the public transport is coming down. Previously, it was about, say, 30 years back, public share of transport was about 50 percentage. Presently, it is only 29 percentage, about 20 percentage by bus and 9 percentage by train, including suburban train. So the main aim of the metro is to shift from private mode of transport to public mode of transport. In developed countries, they have up to 60 percentage public share. Public transport share is 50, 50 to 60 percentage, whereas our share is only 29 percentage. So this way, metro will contribute to more public share and we will be having reducing the vehicles on the roads. You think about 15 lakh people travelling after 50 years, even if you take one car is occupied by five persons, so five lakh car will be out of road. People will move towards the metro. That is the objective of the metro. With this, I will start. The presentation is in general. It is basically a technical subject, but I will do what is relevant for the audience. Please. You can move. Next slide. The presentation, please. Chennai Metro is a 50-50 joint venture between Government of India and Government of Tamil Nadu. Next. These are the two corridors. Already we are operating. It is about 54 kilometers. Corridor 1 and 2. It has about 40 stations. And you can note uh, here from Corridor 1, airport to Vimpo Nagar, beyond Thiruvathiyur, it is more than 35 kilometers. So our ticket is only 50 rupees. Sometimes people think metro ticket is more. For shorter distance, it seems to be more. For 35 kilometers, from airport to Thiruvathiyur, we charge only 50 rupees. And our transport is safe, reliable and also economical for long distances. And in case of card users, it is only 40 rupees, 20 percentage reduction also there. So this way, we, our transport is very economical and safe. Next. This is the corridor, uh, phase two, three corridors. One corridor is called Purple Corridor from Madhavaram to Sipkad. It is almost going through the, along the coastal area region. Another is Orange Corridor, Corridor 4, from Lighthouse to Poondamalli. That Corridor 4 is about 26 kilometers. It connects from Poondamalli to Lighthouse. Highly dense populated central business district areas like Mailapur, T Nagar, Kodambakam. So nobody can imagine about uh, 26 kilometers, about 40 to 40 to 45 minutes, they can travel from Poondamalli to Lighthouse. No other mode of transport it is possible. So that is the corridor 4 from Lighthouse to Poondamalli called Orange Corridor. Another is Red Corridor from North Madhavaram Mill Colony towards then South it is connecting Soling and Alur. If you see the map, the trains will operate circularly from North part of Chennai to Southern part. So this will be the most efficient transport after five years. Please, you can go to the next one. These are the corridor details. Each corridor, as you can see, in case of corridor three, the red ones are underground. From Madhavaram to Nehru Nagar, that visibility is not there. From that Nehru Nagar, that is somewhere at Taramani IT Park, up to Sipkat, it is elevated. It is along the OMR. You can go to the next one. This is corridor 4. I already told the lighthouse to Poonamalli. Lighthouse to Kodambakam is underground. 
balance area it is elevated and in between alwar thirunavar to porur who are is from chennai they will know that area two corridors are merging there will be a double decker in single column the two trains will be going it is two level with with our concourse it will become three level please next one this is the corridor 5 we call red corridor it connects from madavaram to porur then it connects to solinganallur this project is funded by different multilateral and bilateral agencies one is from jica japan international cooperation agency another is adb asian development bank another is aib next one is new development bank balance amount is funded by tamil nadu government and also government of india this is the typical view of the underground metro there will be two entry now uh, in phase 1 we have four entries now we have only two entries and the then concourse in elevated metro there will be two entries and platform these stations are designed sleek compared to the phase 1 phase 1 everything will be very big and we have optimized it so that portion i am not showing this is uh, the view of the proposed stations see these are the some of the challenges in executing any infrastructure project such a major projects within the city the first is the land acquisition you can go to land first is land acquisition then utilities of all kind of utilities water sewage power and so on then challenges in the very construction activity itself you can go to next slide you see the certain uh, roads are very narrow we normally uh, try to locate our stations in government land only but however wherever the road width is less it is necessary to go for private acquisition also but our stations will be located every 1 km mostly in vacant land however whenever vacant land is not there we resort to acquiring the buildings and the demolition of the buildings you can go back you can go back you can see the government land is 191 hectares and the private land is only 36 hectares already we have acquired 97 percentage of the land government land private land is or acquisition is in the process you can go to next slide these are the major utilities we spend about 1000 crore in utilities alone all overhead attractions 110 kv 230 100 kv and towers this and all perumbakkam area and medavakkam area we are converting into underground cables because it will infringe with our overhead traction so these kind of utilities are involved large scale sewage large scale water mains are we are diverting for kilometers 5 kilometers or 6 kilometer length we are diverting please go to next next major challenge is road diversion uh, diversion of the traffic we need minimum 9 meter road to construct the metro but the available with many places it is less than 20, 10 meter or 15 meter so if we take away 9 meter it is not possible for uh, traffic to flow so we will do diversion you please go to next one see these are the diversion route you can see the middle blue portion that is the metro work we will divert we will improve the road and frequently police uh, three level of inspection they will do assistant commissioner deputy commissioner and joint commissioner they will do they will do trial and it will take one month to give any traffic permission they will do trial during saturday sunday then all the signals have to be provided road have to be made good then only they will allow the traffic diversion if you think about uh, constructing 120 km length within the chennai city by uh, diverting the route it is a slow process and the entire metro construction is done during night day time only they will do arrangements the concreting all the concreting vehicles are allowed only in the night so in general it is a slow construction work but it is a heavy 
we do night massive concreting work to achieve the target. So that will not be known to the public. Always night they will work 12 to 4 o'clock. By the time morning they will clear, then only they will do reinforcement, that's other detailing, other preparative work. Please. Next challenge is construction itself. There are two construction, uh, two uh, these stretches, one is for elevated, another is for underground. In case of elevated, which is about 78 kilometer, 80 kilometer, underground is about 42 kilometer. We have a lot of challenges. And it is more technical in nature. I will say only few locations where the challenges are there. Please move on to the next slide. See, this is one of the challenging location, Katipara Junction. Everybody knows it. Chennai Metro have improved the Katipara bridge below that, that landscaping. February, Chief Minister has opened that uh, park. Above that, there is a flower leaf flyover. Over the flyover, there is phase one corridor one and corridor two. And the another corridor, what I am showing is red color is corridor five. So it is four level. We are going to construct fourth level, another larger uh, curve. That's some balanced cantilever method. Without obstruction to the traffic, we will construct from top with hanging and slip, slip form arrangement. So this is the one of the challenging location in the phase two, elevated. Please go. This, this location is Alwar Thirunagar to Porur, Alwar Thirunagar to Alapakam. Here again, there is one corridor, Coimbed to uh, <coughs> Alandur. Over that corridor, corridor 4 we are constructing. Again over that we are constructing corridor 5. So this is all constructed in single pillar. Works already started, it is going on. The road width itself is very less there and it will be very challenging to place the girders and the superstructures at that level. Please. Again, in that, that two locations are elevated. This is underground. Whatever corridor, three corridor we are planning at three locations. You can see Keel Park, Thousand Light, Nandanam. At three places, our present work, uh, tunnels are going below the existing corridor. So without disturbance to the present traffic, we have to bore the tunnels. So we should be so careful that no soil subsidence happens so the present corridors are not affected. So these are the very critical, challenging location. We have international expert to stabilize the soil and execute such location, tunneling at such locations. You can see we cannot execute above the tunnel because the road depth is very less. We need minimum 9 meter uh, for tunneling operation. So we have to necessarily go below the existing corridor. So the, these three locations are critical. Please go. This, this is again crossing Adayar River from Greenways Road to Adayar area. We are crossing the Adayar River. The tunneling below the river is uh, challenging because of the geology, water, and the water level will change. So the tunnel boring machine operation depends upon the pressure above. So water level difference is there. Accordingly, we have to adjust the pressure and execute it. Otherwise, the alignment of the tunnel will change. The tunnels are executed with few mm accuracy. Please, you can go to the next this is again an underground location. This is called Kacheri Road, a sample photo I am showing. We need for an underground station about 22 meter road width. And we will completely construct and close the station and we will give back the road. But this Kacheri Road and other uh, Kacheri Road and Alwar uh, Pete, Radha Krishnan Saleh some three locations, the road width is very less. So we are constructing one tunnel above other. It is totally a new concept. Not two parallel tunnels, one tunnel above another. You can go to the next slide. You can see that Kacheri Road. There are four levels. First level, they will enter, then they take ticket, then go, they will go to the another level for one uh, platform. 
then they will go to another there will be some system rooms mechanical arrangements all the our systems will be there then again they will go to the fourth level for the next platform this is vertically arranged this is not horizontally the one tunnel is above normally it will be parallel here it will one above the another please go to next slide you can see this is the arrangement tunnels will be one above other when it was coming parallel slowly we will rotate into vertical direction you can go these are some of the progresses uh, photo it is work is going on uh, we are planning to complete the work first stretch of the corridor 4 by june 2025 and in a phased manner by december 2026 we want to complete the entire work and apart from chennai metro we have taken up works in coimbatore metro already dpr is done in progress and further we are going to extend from airport to tambaram and apart from that madurai tiruchirappalli selam and all workers study being conducted now so the metro is going to expand for other cities also this is the recently uh, concluded uh, dpr it is with the state government for approval once it is completed it will go up to airport kelambakam on kmbt kelambakam bus stand is coming up so it will connect there from that bus stand to thiruvathur they can go without any transshipment yeah this is the slide so i removed all technical part i only made up a non technical aspect of the chennai metro so i thank the audience for carefully listening and i thank the rotarians for this opportunity thank you so much sir rachana sir please stay back we have this 2 minute video that we will play now honorable prime minister's vision a nation's development is possible only through infrastructure and the key goal of governance improving the ease of living for people are realized by our honorable chief minister through various flagship projects like chennai metro rail and a host of schemes in line with atmanirbhar bharat Chennai Metro Rail being the first metro rail system in India to connect the city's railway terminals bus terminals and airport in the first phase itself this in operation with 39 stations for a network to 54 kilometers the phase 1 project covering two corridors for 45 kilometers and phase 1 extension for a further 9.05 kilometers the financial assistance for phase 1 and phase 1 extension of the project was supported by the government of india government of tamil nadu and jika completion of cmrls ambitious phase 2 project by 2026 for a network of 118.9 kilometers at one stretch a first of its kind in india with 128 stations in three corridors supported by government of india government of tamil nadu jika adp aiib and ndp would enable chennai to have 173 kilometers of metro stretch carrying 25 lakh passengers per day It's very comfortable. It is efficient and affordable. It's efficient. Chennai Metro is one of the best things that happened to Chennai in a very long time. To witness its transformation into a world-class destination for investments and economic activities. I now request Presidents Ganesh Raj, Mani Maran, and Suresh to please come on stage to felicitate uh, Mr. Archanan. Uh, this entire uh, effort was from. Rotary Club of Chennai Prestige thank you Rotary Mani Maran for the efforts can we recognize uh, Mr Archanan please presidents Ganesh Raj Mani Maran and Suresh to please come on stage
A big round of applause, please, for a presenter, a fabulous presentation on Metro Rail, always on time. <laughs>